If you chew from this section, go to that section, and to lift it over, we're going to lose all our fish. The proposed investment by Vincentian businessman Rudy Days in Buckament Bay is not sitting well with fishers in this central Leeward community. The issue surrounds this property, the previous home of the Buckament Bay Health Center. The government traded the property for another lot of land in the community on which it built the Buckament Polyclinic. And with the land and the former clinic back in private hands, it was later acquired by Days, who told Eyewitness News that he plans to set up a bar and restaurant there. The fishers spoke primarily through their spokesperson, Renrick Bruce. Well, I have three issues, right? Number one, we're talking about a jet is going into the water and it's going to affect fishermen. Number two, we're talking about our space on the beach because we need certain space that we can pull our boat and hang on it. And number three, about disaster, when disaster comes, we need somebody to pull up our boat a bit ahead. What we all need as fishermen, we need, we, we heard that we have some resolve, go to the beach, and we need that space. And I'm asking the government of this country to be a, to be a part of the fishermen of Bukumen. Days, a long-term resident of the Bukumen Corner Basin, agreed to speak to Eyewitness News about his plans for the property. He, however, did so on condition that his image be not recorded during the interview. Mr. Days, how are you doing? No camera, no camera. Yes, I'm involved. I, um, I acquired um, a couple of lots on the beach at Bookment, and my plan is to set up a, a bar and restaurant business on the beach there. Um, I have applied to the physical planning board for approval for the construction and I'm awaiting their written response. Um, in the meantime, I'm just putting up temporary fencing in preparation for the construction, um, because once the construction commences, um, we would not allow the public to be in, within the construction area. They told Eyewitness News that his business would be confined to the areas to which he has legal right. He further said that he has told the fishers that they could have access to the property in the event of adverse weather. In the event that there's a storm, a hurricane, or rough seas, um, we will remove the temporary um, barrish um, that we're putting up and that they can bring their boat back into here for safekeeping until the storm is passed. That hasn't changed. still the same thing. So, so the areas, just to be absolutely clear, the areas that you plan to occupy and use, those are private areas. And the well, public areas would remain public. Of course, I mean, I cannot trespass on and, 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 and public property to, to do anything, to put up fence, I can't put up a barricade, I can't do anything on public property. So the properties that I am putting up my barricade is private property. But Bruce told Eyewitness News that Days had disclosed to him he planned to build a jetty near the restaurant and bar. The fisherman said this would have a negative impact on fishing in that area of Buckament Bay. I told him what the effect the jetty will bring to fishermen and he still insists that he needs a jetty to go into the water. Okay, so tell us what effect would the jetty have on fishers in Buckament Bay? Well, number one. Bukumen is a is a is a is a beach is a place that jackfish is the most fish catching Bukumen. You understand? And to put a jetty into the water, when you throw on jackfish in the deep, they came on land. You understand? And to have a jetty there, if you chew from this section, go to that section, and to lift it over, we're gonna lose all our fish. Days did not comment on the details of his plans saying that they were still awaiting approval by the physical planning authorities. The application has been made to physical planning. Again, it is under review, and I'm awaiting the planning decision as it regards to it. So in essence, you're not prepared to, to disclose the details of that, app, that, that application? I am not in a position to disclose information that I don't have as yet, so I am awaiting planning response.
And as soon as that response is given, I would be in a better position to to state whatever the case is regarding it. The fishers said that they are not opposed to the investment, but wanted reassurance that their fishing operations would not be disrupted. We're not against Rudy to build, but what we need is cooperation. At least we have which will able to get our space. That when we're ready to put it, I own a net. Two fish pack and I'm good. And that is what I live by. I have my two children to send to school. And if I can get a chance with the order to put fish, my children are going to girls' high school. Girls' high school call for money. Everything they call for money. So me have to use my net in order to get money to send my children to school. I am not stopping Rudy from the, his property because that is his. Thank you, say he owned that. But my concern is the design. We need our 50 feet because if my net damage, we need it. You know, we need this space and we put a block to go up there and get our net fixed. <coughs> if disaster, we should be able to get errors that we could pull our boats to prevent any, any, any attack, any accident, anything. Days told Eyewitness News that his comments to the fishers are the same as he had communicated to them directly. The same thing that I've said to them before, that I'm only coming here to improve their lives and make it better, not to deprive them of anything. So I'm, just, oh, I'm going to be adding value to whatever products they have here now. The fishers' comments suggest growing frustration as less and less of the beachfront at Buckament Bay remains available to them for their operations. Some of the frustration may have been caused by erroneous assumptions about how much of the area is actually public property. When Buckament Bay Resort operated between 2008 and 2016, the fishers could no longer haul their nets onto that side of the beach as had been done previously. However, with the resort having changed hands, the fishers are unsure of how much longer they can continue to land their nets on that section of Buckament Bay. If you look at the, the resort, it's already taken. And maybe a year or less than a year, it's going to be um, a little problem for us because we, we only could have limited time to go over there to, to fish. Do you mean that you would not be able to fish over there? Maybe, maybe we, we will not have the authority to go over there and fish. And we don't accept that. But our little space we have down here, we need to protect it. The fishers say that they have spoken to their parliamentary representative, Randy Brewster, who assured them that they would have access to the public areas of the beachfront. He said this piece of land is 50 feet from the water is, is ours. For fishermen too, like if disasters, we can pull our boat to the road. Mm -hmm. You understand? And then we have a 30 feet reserve. Okay, so like as, as you see, the, the net is on land. That's, that's the reason from where the, the stake is. They have a stake right there. Right? Where, where my dad is, where the coconut tree is. Mm -hmm. That's 30 feet. That's 50 feet from there to there, and 30 feet go to the coconut tree. So that's, that's all we are asking the government if he can step in and help us with the reserve land that, that left. Why is um how important is fishing to the community of Bokomai? Well, it's very important. That's, yeah, if you look, if you look, everyone in Bokomai mostly depend on fishing. Fish and chichi. And chichi. You understand? And if we have to get effect by that, it's gonna, we're gonna lose everything. Bokomai is a fishing in the in area community, and most of the people do fishing in Bokomai. And if you can check around, most people in Bokomai have their boat. Maybe they wouldn't like to come on camera, but as you see, the Bunta boat is here, owned by Bukumen people. You understand? And they have Chamel, and they have, they have their net. So we are, we are asking again that the government may, may step in, you understand? And help us in Bukumen, that we can be able to do our fishing and be happy. We, not, we are not running people from do their business, but we know that Bokumen is a fishing area. And people from all about come and fishing in Bokumen and they see the development of fishing in Bokumen. The fishers' comments further suggest some frustration with the government's attitude to the industry 
and what they say is a lack of support for artisanal fishers. They're not helping fishermen. Fishermen have to fight. Did, did, did fishers get any money under the COVID-19? No, please. No, please. They come sometime and give out papers. Say, fishermen must check who my men they have working in the net. They give them. When you do hear the shout, I hear it for myself over the radio. That is a mistake, Sobato said. It, it, it was not for people in the green zone. Right, so from the red zone to the area, it wasn't for us. So we have not received nothing. But that's the volcano, you're talking about the volcano. I'm talking, talking about the volcano. I'm talking about the COVID 19. The COVID 2, no, nothing. 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 We people in Bukumen getting nothing. 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 We have to struggle. We have to fight. Nothing we are getting. But but did COVID-19 affect fishers? Um, well, yeah. we have to stay. Remember, this is social distance. Right. Right? And mostly, the <coughs> workmen of them insist that what he said, they will do. So we try, we try to be ourselves distant until when you say, well, okay, just a couple, couple of months ago, Everybody get back together. So what about the um, sale of fish? Well, sale of fish, it, it, it rough. To be honest with you, it's just the vendors makes the money. Because if you catch, well, last week we catch some skipjacks, right? And if you catch skipjacks from, say, like, Low Mambe to Barali, and you take everything to town, sale poor, because they're telling you that, okay, they only could pay a dollar or uh, 50 cent for one. You understand? Mm -hmm. And when you go in town, you hear the sale, okay, the vendors of them sell three for ten or uh, four for ten. So they, they're making the money. And we have, we have 12, 13 men working with us. Do you guys have a cooperative down here? No, we don't have. Do you think it might be helpful to form one? Well, we, we, will, see, we will see in the future. <coughs> We're looking forward for that in the future. And to benefit us, if we have to do that, we will do that. Bruce says that the government should take seriously the concerns of the nation's officials. Fishermen is important in this country. You understand? Because if you're checking out, when you're checking out, they're talking about fishermen and farmers. You don't hear about, you don't hear about electrician, you don't hear about mason, you don't hear about carpenter. The most thing that you hear about on radio and TV is fishing and farming. That's the most thing. And, and, and there's a tourism. That's the most thing that you hear in St. Vincent. This resident said that Buckament Bay fishers would not have had to contend with these fares had the government paid for the lands on which the polyclinic was built and kept the former clinic site as public property. No public facilities. Many people, no public facilities. You should come now and want to use a toilet and see where you got to go. If you don't run to the neighbor, go take off your clothes and go see. Go do that. And every base I was saying have, I know. Government build places for the people to put the net, put up your engine. If the water start to bust, both will be all for the land side up there. So if you have a storm now, if you have a storm now to you take your boat, carry it quite up so and pull it up in the schoolyard. That's what I heard. Up in the schoolyard. This thing not right. I'm telling you, man. They should have been for fishermen. They should have been for fishermen. Toilet for lady, toilet for, for fishermen. And put your, your business there. But nothing like that now go on. We representative, we, we, we vote for. We representative, whether you vote for yes or no, a book comment, always put them on the map. Every time election, when a book comment, I make the win it. Because the last name I call book comment, and a book comment, I put everybody there. So because you say nothing, sometimes they feel well, they pick inside. But I pick side. Everybody have food. Yeah, everybody have food. One piece of bread, what you want to eat them? No. She ate a wrong man. Kenton Chance. Eyewitness News, Buckament Bay, St. Vincent.